On last week's episode in France, Napoleon Bonaparte played a key role in dramatically changing the face of the European political system. After ending the Emperor's reign, the great powers of Europe desired to return the continent to its pre-1789 state of affairs and to establish a sense of peace and order. Thus, Great Britain, Russia, Prussia, Austria, and even the newly bourboned France banded together to form the Congress of Vienna, or the Dancing Congress. What will be the results? Has Napoleon truly been silenced? Stay tuned for the final installment of the French Revolution, Napoleon and the Congress of Vienna, turning the tide in France. Hello, I'm Clemens von Metternich, your host, and I would like to welcome you all to the first official meeting of the Congress of Vienna. Alright, let's do this. I'm excited. Now that Napoleon will no longer be a thorn in our side, especially considering the seamless restoration of the Bourbon line, as well as our leniency towards France in that first Treaty of Paris. Right. Now, we should try to undo Mr. Bonaparte's damage using my idea of conservative reactionism. Agreed? Sounds good. Alright, sounds good. A balance of power is essential to a stable Europe. Hold up. Before I agree to a balance of power, I want Poland. A free and independent one. That's fine with me, Alice. That is, if I get Saxony. Look here, Austria, France, and I won't agree to that, but we're willing to compromise. Prussia, you can have some of Saxony, and Russia, you can have a part of Poland. However, you must agree to let them hold free and independent elections. All right, and you can have some of France's colonies. I'll give up Belgium if I can have that land in Italy. You know, that chunk that Napoleon stole from us. <sighs> Jolly how about a spot of tea? Huh. I wonder what Napoleon's doing right now. Gosh, this sucks. This island is so boring. You know, I feel like I could still do a lot of good for France. Maybe I'll just go check it out. Napoleon, don't you get it? Nobody likes you. Nonsense, I'm the savior of France, right? I think I'll just reassert my power over the empire, you know, get stuff started. All right, Napoleon, we'll give you one more chance. But just remember, when you're sitting all alone on St. Helena, you did this to yourself. Okay, okay, so that didn't work out quite as I planned, but it's not like anybody's going to remember Waterloo in the big scheme of things. At least I can work on my pan. The fiend! Those French! This is absurd. We're nice to them and this is how they repay us? By siding with the enemy again? Okay, well we've got to be more strict this time in the Second Treaty of Paris. We'll diminish France's boundaries and make them pay 700 million francs and even take control of their military forts. Too bad! I'm parched. Let's go and find some tea, Talleyrand. Okay, Russia, Austria, we're all Christian here. Let's have a holy alliance. Okay, sounds good. good. Britain, Prussia, Russia, since we've beaten Napoleon twice together, I say we form a quadruple alliance. Sorry, France, you're not invited. Still, things are pretty harmonious. I'd even call it the Concert of Europe. Hmm. Okay, France, we've had a change of heart. We, wa we want to end this military occupation, and we really want you to be a part of the new Quintuple Alliance. We can all be BFFs. Okay, yeah. sure. Hmm. Okay, now to crush liberalism. Oh, I know! Like in Spain and the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies? Oh, absolutely. Let's quash those revolts. Oh, but I don't think that's a good idea. Nonsense. And France came out on the Spanish Civil War, for I, for I care. Yes, we must assert our dominance. Oh, and what's up with America? Hold on, chap. Just a minute there. I know. The Monroe Doctrine? How ridiculous. Are you all mental? You never listen to me. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm unfriending all of you. I, for one, support the United States. Oh, and guess what, Austria? 
if and when the Belgians do rise up against you, it's on. We will throw Leopold I our full support. Oh no, she didn't. Whatever. I mean, as long as we all sit together, it's not like anything can stop us. Exactly. There won't be a wave of revolutions plaguing Europe anytime soon. After all, we believe in conservative reactionism. That's right, because we're pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> de la patrie le jour de gloire est arrivé contre nous de la tyrannie l'étendard sanglant élevé l'étendard sanglant élevé entendez-vous dans les campagnes mûrir ces féroces soldats Ils viennent jusque dans vos bras Écorcher vos fils, vos compagnes Aux armes citoyens